Your home might smell clean, but what if your cleaning supplies are actually destroying your lungs? Check this study out. Over the span of 20 years, they tracked the rates at which people in the study were cleaning. Now, there were over 6,000 participants being tracked. And those cleaning the most, even if it was just cleaning at home, were losing roughly 22 milliliters of lung capacity per year. That's a faster decline than most smokers. And the professional cleaners in the study, even worse. Now, what's interesting is the women in the study were more affected than men. That's likely just due to the overall exposure to the cleaning supplies, but that doesn't change the fact that regardless of who's cleaning, we're often told something that kills 99.9% .9 of germs is a good thing. But what that really translates to is this product is toxic to all life. So even though you might think you're just wiping down your counters with it, chances are you are inhaling some toxic chemicals. So here's what you can do about it. Number one, ditch the aerosol sprays. Number two, switch to vinegar and baking soda and maybe some essential oils. Number three, avoid anything with fragrance in it. And number four, just ventilate your living space a little bit better because your lungs depend on it. Thankfully, there are tons of alternative cleaning supplies out there on the market now because clean should actually be clean. It shouldn't be clean and poison in the same bottle.